What do data analysts like me do? Do they keep looking at spreadsheets and numbers all day long? What's the difference between a data engineer versus data analyst versus a data scientist? What does it take to become a data analyst? Is a degree required? What's the pay and work life balance like? And will AI replace data analysts in the future? If you're someone looking to enter data analytics, you'll be having all these questions. I have around four plus years of experience as a data analyst in the USA, and hence I do have a bit of credibility to talk about this topic. And hence I've decided to answer all these questions in this video. Please watch the video fully. My name is Sandeep. In this channel, I talk about data data analytics, masters in US and job search. If you're someone interested in these topics, please consider subscribing. Well, the first question, what does a data analyst actually do? So what does my job look like? The role of a data analyst is very broad. A data analyst can wear multiple hats. In my first company, I was actually involved in automation of a lot of Excel reports and converting those into Power BI dashboards. So I was doing less of data analytics and more of dashboard design and development. And when I moved on to my next company, I was actually doing a lot of data modeling for the data lake. And I had to actually work with data engineers to get the data ingested into the data lake. In my current company, it's a mix of data engineering and data analytics and also dashboard development. And, and in most of these roles, you will actually be involved in talking with the stakeholders, getting to know the requirements. And as data analysts, it's our job to make sure that we supply the data either in form of uh, Excel or Google Sheets or as Power BI or Tableau dashboards. So you will all be thinking that as data analysts, we will all look at numbers and analyze data all day long. The answer is no. Data analysis is just part of a data analyst job, which will involve all these other components like data engineering, BI, dashboarding, visual storytelling, Telling, data warehousing and communicating with the stakeholders. So a blend of all these is what a data analyst role looks like. Now coming to the next question, you will be wondering what's the difference between a data analyst versus a data engineer versus a data scientist. In a lot of companies, there will be a lot of overlap between all these three roles and they will all work together to make sure the job is done. To be very precise, a data engineer is someone who is involved in building of data pipelines. They will take care of ingesting data from the source to a data warehouse or a cloud data lake. They are more technical people and they do not know much about the business. A data analyst on the other hand, someone like me, it's a mix of a technical and a business role. So as I said, a data analyst can do multiple things. But at its core, a data analyst is someone who analyzes past or historical data and derives insight from it and presents it in form of a dashboard or report. A data scientist is someone who goes one step further. They actually use the raw data or the transformed data in the data warehouse to do predictive modeling or conducting experiments like A-B testing and make some some predictions about the future and propose some recommendations that the company can take in the present to make sure that those results are attained. Data scientists also have a solid understanding of the business combined with the technical skills. So the next question, what skills do you need as a data analyst? So I'm going to refer to this chart from Data Nerds. I'm putting the link in the description. So basically Luke Burrows has scraped through 500,000 plus job postings across the world and extracted the most important keywords and skills. Based on this chart, the top five skills are SQL, Python, Excel, Power BI or Tableau. As data analysts will be required to have a solid understanding of basic math and statistics. And third is soft skills. Tech skills is important. As important as tech skills is the communication skills, whether it is speaking or written or actually visual communication. Especially great design skills and visual storytelling skills will come in handy to create good looking dashboards that can clearly tell what we want to convey to the stakeholders. The next question, do you actually need a degree to be a data analyst? Can we not study this for free in 2024? This is just my opinion. The answer is yes and no. We are currently in 2024, so we can just learn data analytics for free with just YouTube and ChatGPT. So a degree is actually not required, but the market is very, very competitive. So if you have the money or financial background to actually pursue a master's, then definitely go for it. But if you do not have that strong financial background, not getting a degree is totally fine. All you need is a bit of hard work and passion and effort to make sure you stand out in this competitive job market. And by standing out, I mean being active on LinkedIn, creating some unique projects or products, showcasing that in form of articles or LinkedIn posts, doing some kind of unpaid internships or freelancing, building experience. And as you build experience, you will find a way to land the job which is eluding you. I have talked about all these steps in detail in this video. Please check the link above. How much does a data analyst like me actually get paid? When I was in India, I actually worked as a data engineer for a few months and I was paid around 6.5 lakhs per annum. But after coming to US to do my master's and after joining my first job as a data analyst in US, I was making around $75,000 per year. So that is a bare minimum uh, that you will get paid in the US for a data analyst. But within two years, as I gained experience and I jumped to a different company, my salary jumped 50% to more than $100,000 plus. As you move on from a junior data analyst to a senior data analyst to a manager role, the progression and growth of a data analyst career is really, really good. The next question, 
question. So how's the work-life balance as a data analyst? A funny thing, few months back, I actually made a video on what a day in my life as a data analyst is. You can check this video here. And seeing this, I was surprised that a lot of people were commenting, saying that I had dark circles around my eyes. And the reason for that was my work pressure and stress of being a data analyst. That's not really true. When I was making that video, I was doing a lot of things at the same time. Like I was working and then I was doing YouTube and I was active on LinkedIn and I was doing a side project. So I was doing multiple things at the same time. And so I lost sleep and I got the dark circle. That is not due to stress of being a data analyst. The real fact is as a data analyst, especially in USA, the work-life balance is really great in most of the companies. You would be packed throughout the day with meetings. You'd be fixing issues and you'll be working on new ad hoc requests but after 5 or 5 30 we can just log out and take care of our personal lives so the work-life balance i would say is really good as a data analyst the most important question of all what's the future of a data analyst will ai replace data analysts so for this question i am referring to this article from forbes i'll put the link of the article in the description the article clearly says that data analysts will thrive in the future because the human elements of data analysts like critical thinking creativity insightful analysis all these cannot be replaced by ai at this moment the dynamics of the role of a data analyst might change because currently a lot of data analyst role involve data cleaning building pipelines and doing a lot of pre-processing. So all these roles can be actually automated by AI and hence the role of a data analyst will change from a data processor to a data storyteller. The extra time which gets created by using AI can be better spent on critical thinking and problem solving. It's good to say that at least 20 to 30 percent of the role of a data analyst can be done by AI but the rest is going to remain with humans. That's certainly going to make a job of a data analyst a lot lot easier. Key here is to have a growth mindset where we are able to learn and adapt to the age of AI. Data analysts who can actually work with AI and try to integrate that in the workflows and leverage the power of AI are the ones who are going to survive in the future. It's all about the survival of the fittest now. Hopefully this video clarified most of the questions that you had on data analytics. If you like this video and you have decided that you're going to take the path of a data analyst, then check out this video where I have given a complete roadmap on how to become a data analyst in 2024. Please hit the thumbs up button and let me know in the comments what you think and any questions that you still have. Please share this video and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos like this. See you soon with another video. Bye.